So tell me what you see here. That's right, it's obviously a Steam Deck. It's probably running SteamOS, right? Well, you would be wrong. This is actually running Windows. If we go to the desktop, you can actually see that we are indeed on Windows because we have a minimized Steam option. And, well, yes, you can actually access the Steam Deck UI on Windows. But my friend, why would you want to install Windows on the Steam Deck? I mean, the Steam Deck comes with SteamOS. SteamOS is just fine, right? Well, you can come here and complain in the comments as a Linux user that this is a terrible idea to install Windows on it, but there may be some really great reasons why you want to install Windows on the Steam Deck. Do I recommend it? Probably not. But, for some people, you may just want to run Windows on it instead of Linux. Let's go over those reasons. Reason one is that you can run programs that the SteamOS, like, system cannot run. You can run Adobe Suite, you can run certain audio workstations, and you can run certain games with the worst fucking anti-cheat known to man. Kernel level anti-cheat. I'm telling you, it is the worst anti-cheat. If you could imagine anyone who is trying to run any sort of game on the deck, or even Linux in general, trying to run a game with any chi, it's just gonna fail to run. We all know this due to the fact that, well, Kernel level anti cheat is just shit. So, the second reason why you might want to use like Windows on the Steam Deck is just mainly due to the fact that desktop usage on this thing is going to be great. It's going to feel just like a desktop computer. And I really think that Windows specializes in just being a desktop computer. I know they're trying really hard to be a tablet user computer as well, but they just fail so fucking badly at it. If you're going to be docking your deck all the time and you're going to be using Windows software, where you might as well just install Windows on it. SteamOS may just not cut it for you. So this thing can act literally as its own portable laptop, which is really fantastic. You want a good desktop experience, and I think, I'm not saying that Linux has never given me a bad desktop experience, it's given me a great desktop experience, but if you also want a great desktop experience, Windows is there, Windows is available for the deck. Just getting it set up it will be a little bit cumbersome at first, that's why you need to plug in a mouse and keyboard into the deck. Windows is not really made for this hardware, like it really isn't. You're shoving a desktop operating system in a PC handheld device with a controller mappings. So of course it's not going to be the best experience, but hey, once again, docked? Fine. It's, it's great, it's fine. High refresh rate works. Um, high resolution works somewhat, but just not high resolution and high refresh rate at the same time. Um, if you want high refresh rate, 1920 by 1080, 144 hertz. Yes, works with Windows. 4K 144 hertz. Haven't tried it, but I don't think it would work because the Steam Deck really can't output that much data through, well, the USB-C port. And well, the third reason why you might want to do this is, well, because you can. I would be very glad that, well, Valve is giving you the freedom to even be able to do this in the first place. We already have Windows manufacturers, especially laptops, making it harder and harder for you to install Linux. Why is that even fair to Linux users? It doesn't make sense. It's your PC and you should be able to install whatever you want on it. Valve gives you the freedom to do this. You can access things like the Oculus ecosystem through Windows on a Steam Deck. Windows manufacturers will make it harder and harder and harder to switch away from Windows. But Linux manufacturers will make hardware made for Linux, even though you can install Windows on it. Like, it's more open, it's more free, and you should have the freedom to be able to do that, and the Steam Deck offers you that freedom. It is the best thing ever, the best package. Especially for someone like me, I'm a dual booter. I only use Windows for virtual reality. I don't use Windows for regular desktop computing. If I want that, I go to Linux, right? But yeah, that freedom, that freedom is just really awesome. And, well, there are also reasons why you might not want to do this. Which is why earlier, I, I really do not recommend it. I mean, I recommend it, but I don't. If you're a tinkerer, like, if you tinker around and shit, then this is great. But if you're a basic user, like, you just want to fucking log into Steam and use your games, like, th 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 this is not it, man. This is, don't, don't install Windows on it. But yeah, that's the first reason. You take away ease of use. The complicatedness of, well, installing Windows on it in a vertical form. Like, it, I just fucking love how the install process is, it, it just, it's, it's just vertical on the screen. But anyways, install process is not fun. Um, dealing with other things is not fun. It's not a one-click process like SteamOS. SteamOS makes it so easy. Windows takes away that ease of use. This is actually funny because people literally claim that Linux gaming, it's, 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 well, it's much harder. It's much more complicated, right? 
but Steam is able to make it much more easier on the Steam Deck. All you do is log into your account and click play. That's the most awesome thing about SteamOS. You don't get that with Windows. Second reason why you don't want to install Windows on this thing? System usage is just absolutely ridiculous. You're going to be eating through so much battery life on this thing. Battery life is pretty pathetic on it as it is. And the fans ramp up really fucking fast on this. Even with regular desktop usage. Which is concerning. I can feel heat on my deck just running the desktop. And you don't get that with SteamOS. Windows was clearly not made for the Steam Deck, but at least you can do it. Unlike trying to run Linux on a Windows computer, it's much more complicated than you think. Well, my very last reason is going to be the fact, well, my very last reason why I don't recommend installing Windows on the Steam Deck is that it's not only slow and that it's harder to use, but it's the fucking fact that it has problems besides it being slow. On the Steam Deck UI, on Windows, it has issues like not reporting the battery life of the Steam Deck. Like, I can't just go to the settings and I can't, like, check out, like, if fucking what my battery percentage is unless I go to the desktop. I don't want to have to do that. I want to be able to check in the UI because that's the ultimate thing about running to the new big picture mode on Windows. It's just the fact that you're able to see your battery life on your, well, handheld PC like the Steam Deck or any other handheld PC or even a laptop. I want to be able to have a battery indicator, and that just does not work. Neither does GameScope, which is a technology that is used primarily on SteamOS to composite its own games. So therefore, it gives less issues on running those games. It adds a shit ton of performance to Elden Ring and other games that you might run on the Steam Deck because you can have things like FSR and all that beautiful stuff. You don't have that with Windows on the Steam Deck. So you're really limited to just running certain games that you just can't run on SteamOS without that FSR. So therefore, the performance may just not be great. Also, putting the damn thing to sleep and waking it up is not the most funnest or greatest thing in the world. I mean, shit. You're messing with an interface that is not designed for the touchscreen and gamepad in mind. If you could imagine pecking at tiny ass buttons with your fingers, then, well, cool. Install Windows on your Steam Deck. Take away the ease of use, but also increase the compatibility. But yeah, to summarize, you're taking away ease of use, a little bit of performance, and you're gaining compatibility in the end. Once again, do I recommend it? Yes and no? I don't know, man. At least it works. At least I can run games. But it's not the best experience. I'll have to test out some games that have some crazy ass anti cheat on it. But other than that, I hope you enjoyed today's video and have a good rest of your night.